I've been in church for most of my life. I was one of those babies who scraped the gum from underneath the church pews. You would think that my identity would be sorted, right? What is identity? The American Heritage Dictionary defines it as being a collective aspects of the set of characteristics by which something is definitively known. When I was 12 years old, I had the unique opportunity to relocate towns and like the popular movie, The New Guy, I could recreate my identity. When I got to this new place, I changed my identity to things which people wanted me to be, to be popular and to be with the in crowd. As I went to high school, I realized that this was not truly the identity that I thought I was supposed to have. So I started changing it and trying to find out who I really was. When I went to start going to church, I then, I was in the band, I was a Christian leader and I formed my identity solidly around that. I built my identity around being a Christian leader. The problem with all this is that none of this was founded in God and what He saw of me. I then, because of my lack of identity, I then fell into what most young guys struggle with, pornography. And having my identity at that time built around being a Christian leader, every time I went back into my habitual sin, I chipped away at my own self-worth. The worst of all this was, during this time, God was pursuing me so much with His love. And because the devil had started to plant an identity of unworthiness and not comprehension of His love, I doubted whether God loves me. I questioned things like, how can God love someone that's such a failure? In my final year at school, I started becoming a churchgoer. I stopped attending youth, I quit the band and I just went through the motions because that was what was expected of me. I then went on to university and at university everything started to crumble. My grades fell, I didn't make as much friends as I used to have and I distanced myself completely from God. One of the things that happened was that I went from having three A's in my final year to failing six subjects in my first year. At the end of this year, I realized something had to be done. So I joined a local church and through discipleship and small groups, I then started to deal with these identity issues. Things like, what does it mean to be a man and what determines worthiness in God? I remember this one memory, this one camp actually, where I went there and I was like, and God, you better pitch up. I was at this point where I was ready to give up on Christianity. I got there the Friday night and everyone was worshiping and everyone was experiencing the Holy Spirit, but I was standing there and I was feeling nothing. The next day, I was like, God, you better pitch up today or I'm over with this. And then that day, God really, really showed up just for me. He taught me what his love is about and how I'm supposed to experience that. I finally got what Galatians 4.26 speaks about, that because of my faith, I'm a son of God and a co-heir with Christ. A lot of the things going wrong in our world is because of a lack of identity. Things like dysfunctional families, broken relationships, and eating disorders all stem from not knowing what God thinks about you. In all of this, I could probably sum it up with one verse from the Bible, 1 Peter 2 verse 9, which says that you are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, and God's special possessions. Go today knowing that God loves you not because of what you are doing, but because of your identity, being his son and his daughter. I'm Brian and Janta van Vieren, and this is Zone Talks.